Hello everyone and welcome to CS Mentor. Today we're going to talk about how to prepare for a faculty interview. So before we begin, I just want to clarify that here I have in mind uh, someone that is interviewing for a tenure track research oriented position in the United States. So different countries may have different type of position, different process for the interview. So this is what I have in mind and what I will be addressing in this video. So generally, a uh, faculty interview is structured in two phases. The first phase is a phone and Zoom interview, and then the other phase is a campus interview. And there have been some variation of this scheme during COVID. Some of these changes are carried out by some universities still through these days, but generally the, the components are more or less uh, the same. So let's talk about the phone interview. So generally, you're going to be asked a list of questions. For certain institutions, the questions are going to be the same for all candidates. For other institutions, instead, they're going to be uh, different, depending more specifically on your profile. Typical questions they're going to be asked are, for example, to talk about your research, your teaching, your advising experience, or definitely why you want to come here. It's a very common question that comes up all the time. Also, what are possible collaborations that you can have with our department? What are the classes that you can teach? Other things that could be common are, for example, what is uh, the first proposal or first proposal that you're going to submit if, after you join our university? Also, where do you see yourself in uh, in five years? So this is when you're going to approach the uh, end of the tenure track or the beginning of the tenure stage. Or, for example, they may ask you, uh, what is the most difficult situation that you have found yourself in? So let's see what are some possible suggestions on how to answer this question. So first off, you need to show that you know yourself and your experience. So what is your research experience, teaching experience, and potentially advising experience? You also need to show that you know the job. So what is a faculty job looks like and what are going to be your duties and what are going to be the things that you're going to do. This, of course, in terms of teaching, teaching research, and service. Also, you want to show that you know that the colleagues, the faculty, the department, and the university. So make sure that you know some potential collaboration, you know the curriculum that is offered at that university, you know some major achievements that have happened there, and also you should show that you have a plan. So you know what you're going to do once you join that place. Another thing that I cannot stress enough is you need to make sure that you practice the answers to these questions. Improvising is generally not a successful way of uh, having a good phone interview. The more you're ready, the better you're going to do. So practice the answers, and then when they're going to come up with similar questions, you can use what you have practiced in order to answer those. And also be ready to ask some questions. Some of these are generally very standard, such as you know, what is the typical teaching load, but other things would be more specific, like, I don't know, what is the typical research space for labs that you're going to get? Or, you know, where your students, after they graduate, where, where do they usually go? Okay, in which companies, industries, or other universities? So assume that now you have passed the phone interview and you made it to the campus interview. So the search company contacts you and invites you for a campus interview. So the campus interview generally is structured in a bunch of meetings. And in these meetings, you're going to meet the chair, you're going to meet the dean and associate dean, you're going to meet other faculty, and you're going to meet students. And then there's also going to be a talk about 45, 60 minutes long. And some of these meetings are going to be over breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well. So some suggestions to prepare for a campus interview. First of all, get the schedule ahead of time. So you want to know who you're going to meet, where you're going to meet them, uh, and at what time, of course. And you need to search for those people and be aware of uh, their details. So what, what is the research about, for example? What is their uh, teaching experience? Do they have some major achievement recently? Of course, you want to know who is the chair, who is the director of graduate studies, who is the dean, uh, so that you actually know who are the people that are going to meet. And what I suggest is to print the schedule and maybe add some notes that can remind you something about uh, the person that you're going to meet. Also, remember also you're always interviewing. So even during breaks, during walk on campus, during lunch, dinner, breakfast, it's 
still always an interview. Even when you meet students, it's an interview. So everyone that you're going to meet is going to provide a feedback about the experience with you during the interview. And so you need to make sure that everyone has a positive experience. Additionally, remember that you are also interviewing them. So you can ask questions about things that, for example, you want to know about campus, about faculty life, about the city. And this is also a good opportunity to show that, you know, you are a normal person. So someone that, uh, you know, has interest, that has, you know, a, a normal life, maybe has kids and wants to know what are the good school districts or, or is going to buy a house or wants to know if it's good, better to buy a house close to campus or farther away. So, I mean, just, you know, some normal conversation can also be part of the interview. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Also, when you meet the chair, uh, there are some things that is good to keep in mind. This is one of the probably most important meetings that you're going to have uh, during this interview. So the first one is that this is probably not the right time for negotiation. So you shouldn't be there and say, oh, but my salary, what is going to be? I want more. Uh, I want more students. I want this. I want that. So they didn't make your offer yet. So when you get an offer, then you can start the negotiation. But something you can do is to try to understand what, for example, a startup package looks like, what is generally included, what is the typical teaching load uh, before tenure, after tenure. And also another thing you can do is to make clear in that occasion what are the uh, hard requirements that you have for you to join that place. So, for example, you know, some people may need a lab with certain specific facilities, uh, or maybe you have a two-body problem, and then the meeting with the chair is the right time to bring that up. Finally, let's talk about the talk during the campus interview. So one thing that you should definitely realize that this is true for everyone. So we have way more achievements than time available to talk about all of them. So what I think is important to show here is at the same time breadth, depth, and potential for your research. What I mean to give some specific concrete example, I always suggest to start your talk with a couple of slides about an overview about you your education, your teaching experience, your research experience, major achievements, uh, publications, potentially collaborators. So show that you have done a lot. Even if at a little superficial level, this of course is just a couple of slides. Then once you have shown the breadth, you can actually pick one research topic, probably the strongest one that you have, and go deep over that research topic. Show the technical details. And so this will be probably the part that will take the measure uh, time in your talk. And at the same time, using this example, show potentials for collaboration with uh, other faculty in that department and in that university. There are going to be questions. Some questions are not going to be real, necessarily nice. It may happen that someone asks a question uh, in a way that is kind of unexpected. Okay. So the, the, the most important thing is to answer with a positive attitude. Of course, if you get technical questions, you ask you answer technically, uh, but in general, the attitude is probably kind of more important than the actual answer that you provide because you want to show, and I mean, how you answer questions is really the good opportunity to show that you are going to be a good colleague uh, for the department, someone that is going to contribute and is going to be a pleasure to work with. Also, I think it's important to mention what are going to be the next steps in your research, what are going to be potential fundings that you're going to attract, and also here, try to be specific. So don't say, oh, I'm going to get funding from NSF. Like, NSF, what? Which programs? Have you had contact with this program? Do you know how they work? Have you written some parts of a proposal or a proposal yourself before, etc.? And also mention potential collaborations over the during the presentation. And in general, I think it's good to have a well-balanced uh, presentation. So balancing all these different components that we have mentioned harmonically and not over uh, uh, weight one specific up aspect versus other ones. And I think this is it. And it's everything that I wanted to share with you. I hope you find it useful. If you do, you can subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will follow up with other videos soon. Thank you.